So this is just for you girls. Okay, ready? Everybody? Happy birthday to Thank you all very much. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll love you. Hey, Bex. No, not right at the moment. But we record, don't we? We don't go live. I record, yeah. yes. And I post it as soon as it's done. So, this evening, I should be getting some hate now. <laughs> Get a few texts with you. <laughs> Yeah, they think once they move out, they're free from their safe from embarrassment. No, no, no. <laughs> Not for those teenagers. You can hold on to some of that kind of stuff. Okay, six o'clock. I will call meeting order. We can all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Hey, Sheila, we have to roll. Yep. So we can do it backwards. Consent cool. agenda, or approval of the agenda, excuse me. So I want to make a motion to approve tonight's agenda. Motion to approve tonight's agenda. Well, second. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, any discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. This evening's agenda is approved. Items in the consent agenda this evening. One will be passed with one council motion unless there is something someone would like to remove. I have a couple of other ones. Okay. Want uh, B, R, and S. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I would like to add H, P, and R. Okay. We have um, R quite. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No way to talk to us. Okay. That's fine. We had what? Ron? Excuse me. B, R, S. B, and S. R is replaced. Okay. Who said H and P? H P R you said no. Okay. So B R S H P. H and P are mine. Then. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. And I would make a motion to approve tonight's consent agenda minus the items B R S H and P. I will move that we approve my consent agenda minus the letters you just mentioned. Okay. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. <clears throat> Minus those items. Um, gone. Can we just, by an order, can we just go through the consent alphabetically instead of Correct. bumping back and forth? So I can stay organized too. You bet. Thank you. Item B. So, item B. So, I just had a question. I was reading through this, and um, there was this uh, A1 property that they wanted to be um, detached from the city. Potentially, yes. Potentially, mm -hmm. detached from the city. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering. Um, Where what the where a one zone was and and what property this was? Okay, um, I'll find out on the running running map in front of us. So a one is your green ag zone, right? Um, the Usually Road is our borderline, and the property um, in question is in this square. So that's part of the city method. Yeah, that's yeah. the agricultural an agricultural zone, yes. Okay, so it's potentially, and I then I read what you what you guys came up with. Mm -hmm. So okay, I just have and then further on that. So any homeowner or landowner that is in the city limits. They could potentially ask to get their land um, detached from the city. Mm -hmm. Yes. Changing their tax revenue or their tax structure. Detached means they would secede from the municipal boundary. Went unannexing. And unannexed. Okay. It's the opposite of annexing. So, are they still paying city tax on their home, like property tax? Is well, it still that? Yes. Because there's a different rate outside of the city limit, I guess is what I'm asking. Yes, nothing's changed. Nothing changes. Okay. And, well, you just asked if they're still paying their property taxes. I said yes. But was there a different question to that? Because it sounded like you meant to ask it a different way. I probably did. Um, Nothing has happened to this point. Right. Okay. I mean, it, like in the future, like what's, I've never heard of a detaching. So I'm just, I'm kind of okay. like, or... it's just another framing of the label of to either annex or unannex a property. Okay. And what's the benefit of it? It's up to that, that partition, that particular property owner. If they are upset for whatever reason, because the property taxes are too high, which usually ends up being the case. And they would rather be attached to a neighboring township, then that's usually the first. Okay, so so that does answer my question. Their tax base does change from being a city limit person to an outside the city limit. If that was your original question, yes, then that was that is the answer. Okay. But any request would have to be approved. Most definitely by the council. So and the township that they would ask to yep. be mm -hmm. attached to. But and, this has not even happened yet. So, right. right. Yeah. In this case, you're person, just asking for the procedure. Yeah, the person involved is not a, the deeded owner of that property. That is correct. So they're ineligible to request. My understanding, I would have to check the statute if that is even mm -hmm. eligible. I was just, yeah, that kind of, she, Lori kind of asked <laughs> my follow up question <laughs> Sorry, about okay. that. Um, I was just kind of curious. Um, how that all kind of fell into play there okay and why they would want to okay so they and so now i know okay okay all right thank you you're welcome okay so i guess she wants to follow an order there mm -hmm. roll, roll. H. H. h would be next yeah uh 
this is a water income statement. It just drew my attention to a budgeting issue, but um, we seem to be already over budget for property insurance. That is correct. We're, we spent three thousand, and the budget was about fifteen hundred. That that is also correct. And additionally, in your consent agenda, which I see that was not a removed item um, from you, is the property and liability insurance payments is in your consent agenda. That is item marked uh, Y, mm -hmm. the new facilities. Property insurance is now, coverage is now included mm -hmm. in our, you know, we have to cover that now, yep. now that there's a structure on there. Police yep. law Correct. That's and it's, um, it's annual paint type. Its total is like twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars to cover the building. So that's split build between water, sewer, streets, and police. Mm -hmm. And that's why you'll see it in the water income statement. You'll also see it in the sewer income statement. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think it was over in the sewer. Though. It may not have been because sewer has a lot more property mm -hmm. than water does. When I start the budget. Yeah, I, I assume that might be the reason, but I think. Okay. Whenever I see a budget over there, I just have a clear for that. Not a problem. And if I could make one more note on that so that you, the council is aware, the um, the coverage right now, we're only paying the first half. We need to build the second half in the fall. And that is just a, that's just a budgeting thing that I do mm. to stretch it out. Okay. So that's only happened. The property and the liability being charged out right now. Very good. Clear. Yes. Yes. Uh, on to item P. P. So I have another budgeting curiosity question. Okay. Um, what the uh, what did we pay six hundred eighty three dollars for office equipment and furnishings? At ergonomic chair. So that I don't have any workers comp issues from my back being turned out. Oh. I needed a new chair. Okay. Yep. I, I'm Mark. Okay. This has to do with the uh, Right. So moving forward with this, um, I know it's not all set in stone and everything, but before this all would happen, don't we have to have another meeting about this? Or is this all just the way is is set how you guys how it's set up how I read it I mean so you guys we had the big meeting mm -hmm. and then that's all we <clears throat> had about it mm -hmm. so I reported the personal committee meeting minutes I directed was directed to make an offer that offer was accepted and this is the agreement that transpired from that. Did you change that offer or what? Because mm -hmm. no. We okay. No. Mm -hmm. This is a per payroll uh stipend if you're looking at the yeah at the payments yeah. on the items uh yeah. one under remuneration. Okay. Oh all right. Um it just caught me off guard for some reason. I thought that's why I'm asking about it. Okay. Um so when I was reading it, I was like, something, something didn't, didn't seem right. So that's why I'm asking about it. Okay. So, and and did I answer your question? Well, yeah, that's the episode was okay. on the payroll. But, yep. Okay. Yep. So, all right. Yeah, I, Go ahead. I had a similar question. That was in my agenda. I would have expected this would have appeared in the new business at some point. I was just kind of surprised it was tucked in under the consent agenda and we're making an offer to somebody. And I, Looked at the minutes of the 
personnel specifically see that we have a particular person where they might be an offer and everything. Right. So that's a testing by surprise. But I would have thought we would have a sign off on it or something under new business at some point. Because it's somewhat of a personnel matter, mm -hmm. I did not bring it to new business. Okay. I do believe we discussed it in the work session, though. Yes, and uh, hiring also is a uh, up to the personnel committee. Yeah, well, yeah. with the personnel and Christina. And Christina, having, yeah. But it's sitting in the consent agenda it is also a sign off on it. So. Mm -hmm. so I did have a clarification question. It says that it's going to commence as of the date we determine a mutual agreement. That is correct. Do we have a date? Um, the um, contracted party, Mr. Earhart, is um, going on vacation starting the 9th, or excuse me, actually this Wednesday, my apologies. Um, he'll be gone until the 19th and his predicted availability will be to commit his um, his Wednesdays to the city. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, because he has Wednesdays and Thursdays off from the county, mm -hmm. that would not allow us to be able to start until probably the 26th mm -hmm. of April. Mm -hmm. So um, the other um, reason that that date was left out is that we are also working, he's trying to work with um, the other interim chief right now and his availability so that they can shadow each other for a couple of weeks mm -hmm. and give full dedicated time to doing it without you know, starting vacation, leaving and then coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last part of that sentence, it says, or when a suitable replacement is hired. Right. Remember, we're also contracting him as an interim. Yeah. And the personnel committee and the work session was discussed that we have to keep him as an interim because he's not full time. Mm -hmm. So if the city were to be able to hire a full time police chief in the future, then Mr. Earhart would just remain a part time officer on our roster. <laughs> and step down in those capacities with the same hour or one no no it can't no okay. because if that is the case then Ron, he would be an at will employee instead of a contractual employee mm -hmm. Okay. Questions answered. We move on. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> and on the item test, what's on? It's on everyone's mind. <laughs> Who wants to take the questions for the Another question. <laughs> so I just have. Uh, Start with so does the punch list have to be complete? Is there first of all, did you guys move into the new building? We're in the process of somewhat moving <clears throat> stuff over there. Okay. So does this punch list have to be done before you get occupancy? No. Okay. So okay. Um that's good. Um so and then I had one question back a while back. You guys said that you guys put put the sink the cabinets in the in there and everything and the sinks and all this stuff. I was just kind of wondering where that money came from. Where did what money came from? Because we didn't have the money to start out with. We we you we did the uh, uh, value engineer. We took the cabinets out of, out of there and. In the kitchen's out of there, and all of a sudden, no, we put cabinets in there. And so, if you remember, at the point of the value of engineering, one was to save money, and two was to cut costs. Yes, we and knew that going our own route would cut costs. So, it's still coming out of 
where everything else is coming out of for the project. We just saved ourselves probably thousands of dollars, aren't we? So the budget, so maybe to elaborate on what Mike is saying, specific answer to your question um don is the funding for that specific item would be funded out of the same departments and funds that um, funding for the actual the full project is coming from water wastewater streets and police yeah. All right, I'm good. Okay. Anything else on the punch list? But Ron, you have the same item or yeah. Um, we don't know we're not having right. <clears throat> oh, okay. <clears throat> and can we get a motion to approve these items? Motion to approve item B. R S H P. One second. Okay. Uh, any further discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Those are passed. Uh, anyone for the Black Test Forum? No one. We'll move on to city staff. Mike, Public Works. How's the snow? I officially declared today the first day of spring in Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> I took the salter out of the pickup and dropped the, the plow off. And at this point now, we're we're done with the snow. We've got to assess a few roads and take care of a few potholes here and there and stuff that we started doing today. And, Try to get uh, the old LEC cleaned out and everything. Hopefully this week, we don't have much time left on that. Get that cleaned out and start uh, moving the rest of the equipment and stuff down to the new shed and keep plugging away at stuff. We don't have much for you guys other than that. That's what I've been working on. I assume you'll be overseeing the punch list? Yeah. Okay. Is there a way that the council can be made aware of progress on the punch list as we go. I mean, other than monthly. You'll essentially be sitting where I'm sitting with it. You know, as of right now, I know some of the things that they've done and some that they have it and stuff. And then once I know, and then he'll know, you'll know, yeah. you know, they've got, they've got some time still basically with the way it's all laid out, but it's coming along. No, I'm not. It's almost there. I'm not trying to kick anybody in the butt over it. I'm just. <laughs> no, no. The those, those things get completed. Yep. Yep. We see are completed. I will definitely keep you up to date on that. And I can give you an update on that too, because I did check with Brent Donovan today. So uh, the counters tops were installed about a week ago or so. Yep. Sounds like the plumb will be coming back in to hook that um, infrastructure up. Sounds like the door hardware is mostly done, except for one that was broken. Uh, I believe that got put in today. Uh, water got turned on briefly today, but it looks like they need something just to touch on your plumbing deal. Yeah, yeah. that door hardware is in. Okay. And Mike is in the process of moving in. Uh, he said the majority of the punch list items are completed. You know, there's still the um, compressors that are outside that we got to you yeah. know, charge up this spring mm -hmm. and wait for weather. And we'll want to make sure we have the snow gone so we can check the grooving and things like that. So we're hoping by the end of this month, one of the major cooperatives and working with that stuff done. So it sounds like we're getting close. Yeah. Was there anything odd about the electrical installation? I know there were top lists where it wasn't installed properly. The outlets were upside down. The GFCI is it, not individual GFCIs. There were there, there's a little certain. bit of a, a back and forth on the outlets. They've been switched basically. They were called out to be installed with the ground plug up and they were installed with the ground plug down and they've kind of gone back and forth on which way is the right way and which way is technically code, but they were changed to meet, you know, the way they were called out in the spec. So that's all good. That's been done. Yep. And the GFCI thing has been. I believe so. I'd have to go and double check, but I believe so. I think Todovich came and, and went through 
everything that was on the electrical punch list almost right away after receiving it. Yeah, and I don't think, you know, for the council's benefit, I don't think you get updates. The way it works is we prepare the punch list and we send it off to the contract and say, here's your laundry list. As you get stuff done, put down the date that it's done, and then we'll have to come back and verify that from there on that punch list. Is great. That's been mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. What else you got going on? Hoping that uh, the smelt goes okay and that the rain stays away. I don't want to see another last year. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm still so, up to my eyeballs. And yeah, I definitely don't want to deal with FEMA anymore. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, lots of lots of irons in the fire right now. I don't need to bore you with all of them. It's day to day stuff for me. Okay. But we can take your word. There's no more from all coming. Is that right? You know what? I I'm not going to go quite that far. We do live in northern Minnesota here. Saturday and Sunday they're calling for snow. You can just oh, leave right it. now and then. <laughs> <laughs> nice job on the on the uh, testing. By the way, all of our water is great. And, mm -hmm. well, try to keep the best you can. I know. Good job. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Next, Chanda. Um, well, we've had a run of, you know, bad luck, but uh, we had um, our two-door freezer um, break. Uh, we had mailers come and look at it. They're like, it needs a new compressor. So we did our due diligence. Do we fix this one? This is the only piece of equipment that we did not buy new when we remodeled the kitchen. We bought this one in 19 for a thousand dollars at the A1 shop in Bemidji. So um what I'm proposing to do is get us a new two-door um freezer. And the quote is or the yeah, the quote is in the mm -hmm. packet. <clears throat> The dimensions are basically the same as what's in there. In yep. there now. Yeah. Did you get an estimate on fixing the one that's in there? I did. Um, that came back about fifteen hundred dollars plus labor. So but there's no guarantee. There's no. There's like a ninety day warranty on it. Yeah. Plus labor. Yeah. 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 So in six months it dies again, and you're looking at another fifteen hundred dollars plus mm -hmm. labor to fix it. You know how much you want to just throw at it. Well, being the purchase old. price was a thousand dollars. I mean, it's it's had a life already before it was used. Obviously. Yes, yeah. yes, and it. I mean, it's it's worked for what it was. Um, but we need a new one. I mean, it even when it was working at its full capacity, still was not. You know, not perfect. Mm -hmm. I wish we had thrown it out and got a new one when we did the kitchen because it was a lot cheaper. <laughs> Hindsight. All right. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I feel more bad. Historically, out of all the um, major appliances that are down at the liquor store and the kitchen, uh, freezers and refrigerators tend to get the hardest amount of use. And we turn over probably every three to four years, it, it seems like. Yeah, it's because it's a lot of that one's the prep one. So there's a lot of opening and closing all day long. So it works really hard. We, and we are, this will be covered. Where are we getting it from? Uh, performance, which is performance? that's where we purchased the rest of our um, kitchen equipment from. Okay. And, and it has see, longer warranties on the Rogers, Minnesota. Yep. But, so they would be coming up to service it. Um, no, it's not. Own. This is they don't serve. They don't service it. No, but they do warranty it. So you have to get you get a hold of the company and you say there's something wrong with this. Um, we're calling 
a certain person and well, then I mean, they go, okay. Is there a, I don't know, I mean, is there compressors getting blown out regularly, cleaned out regularly? Um, yeah, I mean, we do. I um, mean, service wise, because, you know, we're going to put in a $6,000 freezer, $7,000 freezer. We want to know that it's right. Um, uh, and I know Nailers has some of our other service. Yep. Yep. And or is this the thing a, is, is we, Melissa and I, Melissa and Lori more specifically, um, take good pride in the kitchen. So on Sundays, they get a clean down. Um, we have been kind of babying this freezer. It gets opened up. Everything is taken out. It gets defrosted every week, you know, at this point. And the same attention will be given to that one as it is that we did make this thing. We babied it along yeah. as long as we could. But going forward, when Nailers does do service for us yeah, every we'll six make, months, we'll make sure that they give it a good look over everything. Absolutely. It will get added to their rotation for their uh, cleaning. Yeah. Filters and stuff, the coolers. Yeah. And Nailers also does warranty repair work, right? Yes, for but for us, with, with our kitchen appliances, since we're getting from performance, you will see that it says Ryan up in the corner for our contact. Mm -hmm. I would contact him, and then they would contact the nearest person to come and fix it. Performance has their own service people mm -hmm. that takes care of their warranty work. Right. But so we, we would call Ryan and he would call the service guy and their Ryan service. would make sure that it was under warranty. And Ryan will make sure it's under warranty and then they will send somebody to fix it. So what you said warranty was seven years. Seven, seven years, years. Says. And that's actually really good because the only the closest we could find would be three years on any of the other new units. Okay. And it'll just be it'll be coming out of it'll come out of their liquor the, store budget. Liquor store budget. Yep. Yeah. So Shonda will have to make some you know, secessions on some of the other budget items this year in order to okay. balance her budget. And how about the uh what about the big cooler, the cooler door, the beer cave? Oh, that's I mean if it's a how much to fix that? That we haven't even we haven't even got a quote on it first. We've got to take care of our humidity problem first. The door company won't even come take a look at it until we can get the humidity under control. Figure that out first. Okay. And I am working on that. Hopefully I that'll be a work session conversation. We don't have enough documentation to really share with the whole board about that. Exactly. Okay. We can do that. I'm collecting more information as we speak. So um, okay. uh, someone want to make a motion on this? I mean, obviously it's something we need, you know. It's your main fridge. It's our main fridge. fridge. Kitchen's kind of gonna be a lot of good without a refrigerator, freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for and the put the dollar amount in your in your motion. Um, uh, we we can use this total here. Tax at seven percent, or what are we? What number is our total number? Your total number should be six thousand seven hundred ninety-four dollars and fifty cents. And the freight is an estimate, though, right? Nope. Not you, got, you got it. Yep. Right. Okay. And actually, yes, it, it is an estimated. So, kind of did high end on the uh, estimate for the shipping, but it could go lower. So, if we went to seven, <laughs> we won't use it just because we said seven. Yeah. It's like 
So the gas prices are going to go down. They do for a day. So $6,794.50. I'm to approve the freezer purchase for the pond at the amount of $6,794.50. We have a motion. You want a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion on it? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? New freezer. What else is new? We have bingo on Sunday. <laughs> and when if you're not there, well, that's the thing. Sorry. Is that a positive effect on business? Yeah, government? it does. It does. Liquor sales are up during bingo. Yeah, um, bingo is kind of one of those things that, yeah, it it does give our Sundays a boost. It definitely does. Yep. Noticeable. I mean, in liquor and food sales. Yeah. They're not a huge, huge drinking crowd. Mm. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is our slow time of year. So, anytime we can get the parking lot full, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good and positive. People our uh, linked Vigo is going well. Um, we anticipate this summer that's going to be a big draw for people coming up. I don't have anything else. <laughs> Good. Moving on. Um, I actually spoke with Kelly, but there wasn't anything she had that was. Yeah, and I just asked Lori prior to the meeting. This this is probably my misunderstanding. I assumed from my last communication with Kelly that she was going to be at this meeting, but maybe I misunderstood and that's supposed to be the work session. So I yeah. left her on the report. So I apologize. And I think the only thing really that I know of that's changed is that they finally got their their um five one C three. Yes. Oh, yes. So that's for the that's for the Black Tech Library. Yeah. Friends, right. Friends of the library. So they finally have their nonprofit account really? set up and they have friends of the library. There's still some things to be worked out about. I know they're looking for sponsors too for the mm -hmm. they are looking for sponsors. The city tractor pole this summer. For the friends of the library as well. Okay. That's a membership. It's a is it <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer board. Volunteer board that we pay for. <laughs> so I understand. But um, but they they'll make all the decisions on those. Yeah. Deal with all of the fundraising and the financial piece. And so it'll be good to have it all yeah. cleaned up. <laughs> on to uh, unless somebody else has something else about the library. Christina. Uh, first item of business is to consider a donation request from the Black Duck After Prom Committee. I apologize, but Sarah um, Anderson came to me this afternoon and she had a conflict um, and could not get a committee member to attend. But I did supply council with the remaining points of historic interest from donating that they. Um, requested at the work session, including the last year's um, donations to civic organizations. Sarah did reach out to me also to 
you guys have any questions about it, I have served on the prom committee. I did supervise chaperone prom until 6 a.m. the next morning when they left. Oh, yeah, it's it's quite the production, and it keeps the kids out of trouble. It goes on all night? It goes yeah. on all night. I can hear it all night. <laughs> Inside? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's part of the Yes, it's, and, and they, they use the money to purchase the, you know, quite a bit of the prizes and stuff that they give away. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is for seniors, kids that are graduating, you know, those microwaves, stuff like that, the candy dorm room additions. When you're forced to cook for yourself. Um, what was that? Income statement for the liquor store, real quick. There we are. I was kind of looking to see where we were at um, on our budget for year to date. For our donation giving, we had a budget set last year. I think kind of went over, and mm -hmm. we needed to rein in on that this year a little bit. So I was trying to be. So on it <laughs> currently, um, currently the city has donated four hundred and forty-seven dollars and ninety-eight cents of the six thousand dollar budget for two thousand twenty-three. We're okay, six. So we've only made one donation so far this year. Okay, I'm glad you put these on. Yep, I said helps a lot. So. Looking at the history, is there a reason we had a 50% increase last year? COVID <laughs> and you know, just bouncing back, I think. Yeah, and there wasn't there wasn't a prom yeah. prior or yeah. 2020, yeah. So I see that's missing. And then 21 was the same amount, and then 22. Was yeah, well, in 21 we had donated, but then there wasn't a prom or it no, 20 cool. isn't on here. So 2020, there was no problem. Right. So then we donated. Uh, and I would imagine costs of, you know, was, everything has gone up. I'm not sure. I wasn't here between 2016 and 17 for that that large increase. So I don't think. Well, I'm thinking last year was the big increase. Well, it's 500. That's but big. you can see where. It's 50%. <laughs> over 2016. Yeah. Oh, fifty percent over twenty two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's use the bump. Yeah, hard. so we need to take it back down. Yes, I agree. Um, so we'll have a number in mind. Say follow them. Uh, so. Here's uh, on the if you go down, there's the civic do donations that we did, so we still have some to go, like for the toys for the kids, the trap team, the garden club. That was a one time a deal, one -time thing. okay. And so, we don't do that, we don't give them anything normally, right. okay. Um, so yeah, I guess the thousand would work. And the trap team, that's only if you want to stay. National. Or national, I mean. Yeah. Okay. And well, we we do have a lot of issues, but um, even though we had a few of them graduate, we got some coming kids are check on a few of them, they're pretty good. Okay. Well, these are specific organizations. Is there anything else? That no, that's everything that we donated to okay. last year in 22. All right. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. So this year we added the issue term. That was the four forty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do you want to do less or? No, I think a thousand is good. Like that number. Yeah, it seems to be level at that amount since 2017. Mm -hmm. We had, like I said, the 50% increase last year. So yeah. going back to the lowest amount, it seems to be all. 
custodians of public funds, I think would be a good, a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. So I want to make a motion. A oh, motion to approve thousand dollars to the prom party. Prom after party. Do we have any? Do I have a second? Mm -hmm. I will second that. No, I will second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Moving on. Carries. Wow. Yeah. Let's discuss this. Thing. I, have to... I, I gave my opinion on it. But... Right. Um, I requested a formal request as well. Yeah. So exactly. The first documentation. Mm -hmm. So that there was. Yeah, we saw on the second page previously at the work section. That is correct, Rob. Mm -hmm. So I thought the second page was. It's all previously that didn't contain a specific request for money. If you look at Jennifer's email, it said for Max, would you also consider making a mayoral proxy proclamation? And I thought that part was certainly uh, agreeable, but if you want to look at the guidelines for donations, it's, it's tough to shoehorn this in there. It's travel expenses for them. For family members, that, and, and that, that's <laughs> where you're at. No, yeah. you're, that's you are correct. Right. Sort of mentioned that uh, the activity will have a benefit of the community. I you know, don't know how we can squeeze that in. It's open for discussion, I guess. I would make a motion, and I make a motion that the request for Max Casulis be denied. Financial denial, but mm -hmm. I can still do a mayoral proclamation. Mm -hmm. Part of it, yeah, you're not doing a proclamation. No, honoring a public Follow up, but the yeah, but the. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Ron. That's that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the mayor. Oh, he's going. Okay, so now is there any discussion to the motion? Uh, I'm in, in agreement with the motion. I would just like to say that I think it's a, a great uh, achievement and. Because we're denying civic funds, it does not mean that many people sitting on this side of the table uh, they cannot not make their own make their own personal decisions. Right, and it's very clear in the newspaper what to, who to make the check out to. It's a very specific fund, and I will say that I have already made my trip over to Deerwood Bank and decided that Max qualifies for my personal donation, not the city. And I would encourage all of my colleagues who are of like mind to make their trip over to Deerwood and do the same. Oh, I accept your challenge. <laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. I will uh, work on that proclamation and reach Thank out you. to you so that you can um, their, align that 
correctly. At their convenience, yeah. If they yeah. can do it and uh, have them send away, whatever, I'll, yeah. I'll do it then too. Yeah, if you could advise the rest of the council, please, if that happens. You can make sure Max does everything good. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to speak for you. Yeah, I might be out of town that day. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Please. Okay, item B. Um, I have prepared the stage two documents for the USDA community facility grant load application for the greater purchase from the county. Um, the documents require um, approval and signature of the mayor. Um, additionally, a public hearing must be called. And I um, tentatively scheduled it prior to um, April's work session. If that does not uh, timely work out, we can do it um, after you May council meeting. Um, I'm open to suggestions on that. I'm good with uh, April 24th. Should be. Yep. Oh, it's raining. That's good. If, if, if everything lines up and I, I do believe it will. The only piece of the stage two documents that I'm uh, waiting on is our um, uh, approval document supplied from USDA to, from, to our city attorney. And I'm just waiting on that from him. But we've got bond council support. We've got county um, commissioner support. We have, um, uh, oh my goodness, what else? Uh, Miller McDonald, our independent auditor support is in this. Uh, group as well. So, um, and since there's no super the, tight deadline on the documents, the sooner we can get it in, the better we can look for fun get funding. Cool. So April 24th works with um, Angela Bakaboy from USDA as well. Um, I will actually schedule it on tomorrow. Okay. So, all the documents could be approved with one motion and yeah. like, get those in. Can you remind me, this is a loan and a grant combination? So USDA, um, their community facilities program for equipment, um, depending upon how many applications come in, uh, there could be a grant portion of it. Mm -hmm. um, that will depend on how much money is in their bucket to give out and the number of applications and how they are ranked. Um, but you may recall at the work session, I noted that if uh, USDA gets um, our application for a grader and then four applications to help fund ambulances, they are going to be most likely higher than a grader. Um, so that'll just um, provide us and uh, USDA the percentage of how much could be grant if potential if possible, excuse me. Mm -hmm. They go by more need than mm -hmm. right. So this could be a partial grant, or it could, could be zero grant and one hundred percent loan. That is also the worst correct. case scenario. Was that it would be a loan of fifty five thousand. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Motion to approve the stage two grant application documents for the USDA. And that includes the meeting on the, before the work session, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, it's carried. All right. The last item I have is um, April 5th was the deadline for the RFPs for an engineering firm. Um, sitting in front of you are the seven submissions and a quick summary spreadsheet of those seven submissions um, with some high points. Um, what I would ask of the council at this point is to have one council member uh, meet with myself and Mike to review these submissions and uh, discuss them and rank them so that they can be narrowed down for public um, for council presentation. A volunteer of the council. What would the number of narrowing down? What would your target be? Well, I'd like to say two, but most realistic is probably going to be three. But that'll have to be determined by the discussion. Once that's done, then um, we can determine when that presentation could happen based upon the request of that, those engineering firms. Possibly late, possibly the work session in May, maybe June, depending on timeline. It's a very busy time for everybody. But I remember the process we when we did it for city attorney. Mm -hmm. Christina, I would, I will sit in on a meeting okay. with you and Mike for them. Okay. Yeah. We can go through these. And okay. the purpose again is to narrow it down to three, Correct. and then it would be submitted to the entire council. Correct. Now, later Correct. Okay. 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 Unless you're volunteering, Ron. No, I don't. Keep in mind, they're working full time. So, okay. <laughs> it's hard to get away. After I return, I'll one more time. What month are you looking for? Looking to do it in April. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's why Max stepped up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. But I, I would encourage everyone. Please. Take it home. Please. Read. Okay. Yeah. Everybody wanted um, this process. It, so this our homework. Right? If yes. you've got something, bring it to Mike, Christina, myself, then since and this is this is just a very quick. I mean, I, I've only been through these books twice, so I know I'm probably missing some high points, but there's seven submissions. There's a lot of detail in here. Grayson's not gonna like his bedtime story tonight. <laughs> Max, I'll communicate with you and Mike about the uh, date and time that works good for them to get together. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You should put in the space for you. Email, text, mm -hmm. however you want to do it. Okay. Sounds good. Um, we tried to make him exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is four. No offense. No. Um, the remaining of my report are just uh, several days. <laughs> The 19th is the next planning commission meeting, and we're uh, going to be doing a light tour. If the snow keeps disappearing, we'll be able to do it. Um, the 20th is the next uh, Black Duck Ambulance Board meeting. Um, that's here at City Hall at 9 30. Uh, April 24th would be the council's work session, and then, of course, the public hearing. I'll get that scheduled as well. Um, May 2nd is the Local Board of Appeal and Equalization here at City Hall. The County Assessor's Office will have representatives here. And then May 8th will be the next City Council meeting um, at 6 o'clock. And unless anybody has any other questions for me, that's my report. And the, the Board of Appeal and Equalization, that does not involve council members? 
It does not. No. Anyway, no. Nope. Yeah, it's come. It's like an open house. Yeah. So second, yeah. the assessor is holding the meeting. I, yeah. That is correct. Okay. I like Christina's version of open house. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> People can come and ask questions, and there's no specific dates and appointments necessary by the people that wish to show up. If no one comes in, the assessor's office spends about a half an hour here and then they leave. Well, hopefully. Can you give me a jingle when you guys set up a date or for this, for these? Oh, and just this, if I can make it work, I will. Oh, okay. I just, in I addition don't. to Max? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. I will do that. Is there a BDC meeting or did I miss that? Mm, there is, but I don't have it on the agenda. <laughs> this Wednesday at the Blackfoot Golf Course, 11 a.m. Do you have your problems here for your spring cleanup? <laughs> yeah, um, <you're> here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a yard sale in there. Um, we have a couple from the Planning Commission. That are volunteering, but we could also use more. That's not fair. It's May, May 20th. Yeah. yeah. It'll go quick. It, yeah, it'll go, it'll go too it'll fast. Well, yeah. opener before we know it. And yeah. It, I think it's great that you find it the same day as the yard sale. That way we don't have to go back behind people's yard sales and clean up. I think. If there's always better plan that way, yeah. Also more like a, you know, it's as is, here's some free stuff, come and grab it. I don't have my garage sale kind of thought, but I don't think that's the intention. <laughs> hey, one man's trash. Did we, did Beltrami Cal or Beltrami Electric say when they're going to be pretty much done with our little. Chopping wood? Yeah. No. With our, with our little. No. Hometown. Um, quite a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. They started over, what, six weeks ago, I think, in the alley behind the clinic. Yep. They'll, they'll be a good while until they're done. Mm -hmm. But then once they are done, we won't see this happen for Some many, time. many years again. Yeah. Well, it's, every 10 years, eight to 10. It's got eight, uh, yeah, it's longer than that. Yeah. Probably. It's been on the radar for yeah. years to do this. So they must have um, either enough staff and or um, you know, not a whole lot of work this mm -hmm. spring and late winter to do this job because this is this is a good depth. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, I mean, it's good that we didn't have storms that bad that we have damaged lines and stuff like that everywhere. But well, we've got a thirty foot high by seventy foot long wood chip pile over the field right now, growing every day. Mm -hmm. So mulch. Yes. <laughs> yep, there's lots. All right. Anybody got anything else? Are you selling that? I have a, a question <laughs> on your upcoming events. Uh, so the chamber is renting the golf club for their Kentucky Derby party. Is that right? Yep. I'm assuming somebody's told them, isn't there intent to have it on the day of the Kentucky Derby? Um, yes and no, that has been discussed. <laughs> uh -huh. But this works best for. Um, the intention of why they have this appreciation dinner it's usually during the week not oh. on a weekend so it's purposely on thursday yes okay yeah and the fourth be with you as well oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the star wars theme either it's two days before the derby right? yeah 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 there are still tickets available if anyone's interested they're on sale until april 24th yeah and I was just going to mention another event. Uh, we have a, a community institution that is retiring on Friday. It's Sherry Nord over at Drew and Bank. Oh, sure. sure. And Very true. They're having an all-day uh, stop-in, anytime reception, coffee. And I think she's been in the banking business in Black Duck for... When it was a, Black Duck State Bank. A half a yeah. century. Yeah. Probably over there. Right? No, she started here. When they're here. Yeah. yeah. Basically, she started. Yeah. I mean, it's pushing. I think it's close to a half century. Yeah. So her party is this 
this coming Friday. Is that what you said? Yes. Oh, April, great. April 14th. And uh, coffee and stuff available all day for one hour. So. Wonderful. Do we have anything else? Oh, you know what? I did not put on here is uh, there's a golf board meeting this Thursday afternoon at two or eight. Two, I believe. Two. 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 I did not get that on the agenda for you guys to know. Yes, the golf board is meeting at the golf course at two o'clock on Thursday, the 13th. Yeah. All right. With that, Jerry? Is that a motion? There we go. <laughs> I was in favor. Who seconded? I did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Not here the second. Thank you. I hit school ahead. Okay, very good. He was using the keyboard fire there. <laughs>